In my 40 plus years in UFO studies, one individual personal story has stuck in my mind since I was first introduced to it in 1987. It's the story of the life, the rise, the extraordinary accomplishments and the death and circumstances surrounding the same of our first Secretary of Defense, James Forrestal. And growing up in the time I did, um, I became a passionate amateur historian of post-war America. James Forrestal was a true patriot. He served his country with great devotion and most folks don't know who he was. Most people in America, if they've ever heard his name, it has to do with the fact that an aircraft carrier was named after him, a campus on Princeton. If you work in the intelligence community, there is a medal, the Forrestal Award. There's a bust of James Forrestal in the rotunda of the Pentagon, but he's been lost to history. And as time passed, that bothered me more and more, especially because he gave his life for his country as much as any soldier that had fallen in battle. And so I began years ago to simply collect information on him, going through out of print memoirs by individuals that knew him, newspaper articles, documents, reports, FBI files, and then would set it aside and work on something else. Several years ago, it kind of came to a head for me, and I thought this is a story that needed to be told, and needed to be told in a way that was extremely pragmatic and well documented. There's a tremendous amount of myth, legend, lore surrounding Forrestal's life and death some of which may well be true. I put that all aside and worked with a model of material I could present in a court of law. I ended up writing an hour long script and working with my associate producers, Jennifer Stein and Bob Terrio, we created, I won't even call it a documentary. It's very modest in its undertaking, but it tells the story in a way that I hope Americans will never forget. I think the most important part for me is that we not only remember this man, but we look to him as a role model of true service. I hope you'll enjoy this documentary, but I also hope you'll learn something from it. And if you come away feeling as I do, that you'll share that with other people. Americans need to know who their fallen hero was and the circumstances surrounding his extraordinary life and very suspicious death.